welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. Now as you see on my website I cover a large variety of technology not just Photoshop elements although it seems like I've done a lot of videos on Photoshop elements I want to take this time to show the rest of the world that there's also a free alternative out there as I said I'm not obligated to Adobe by any means I mean I don't receive any funding or, or um, you know any kind of public not publicity funding or um, any kind of advertising dollars from Adobe for doing the shows I just do those to help you out but I want to show the rest of the world that there's a free alternative out there from Google called Picasa. I've taught Picasa in my classes many a times. I showed a lot of people how to use it. And a lot of people tend to go that route because it's a free photo editing and storage software. First, I wanted to show you where you can get Picasa for free. If you go to the web address, picasa.google.com you can very easily download it on the download Picasa 3 link here all you have to do is click on the link and I know a lot of you have downloaded before just click on save file and I think I've showed you before where I have a download folder I created a file folder in here called Picasa 3 and click save that will download Picasa to your hard drive now I've already done that just to save time I have Picasa downloaded but I wanted to go ahead and show you how to install this program because there's a couple key points I want to make sure you use to make this start picking up your pictures that you already have on your computer and make it a lot easier process for you let's go ahead and close my Firefox now we're going to go ahead and open up my computer Go to our download folder, and from here, we're going to open up Picasa 3. So to install this, all we have to do is double-click the file that we just downloaded. Then tell it to go ahead and run. These are the terms and conditions, if you wish to read these. Click I agree then it's going to have a default install location which is usually program files Google then Picasa 3 we're going to go ahead and install this we're going to load it up onto the computer so then we can begin to have a look at it let me close my my computer now on this one when you see these if you want to add all these that's fine I normally do not like the quick launch that's down by your start button that's the icons that you use to quickly launch some applications if you want it there that's fine I usually do not put it there I usually do create a desktop shortcut sometimes I remove and reorganize them later set Google as my default search engine for Internet Explorer that's a personal choice you can uncheck that and that's which from Google they want to force you over to using Google and run Picasa 3 we're gonna do that we're gonna run Picasa 3 Okay, now, completely scan my computer for pictures. If you do this, it scans your whole hard drive. What I mean by that is under the Windows directory, there's a lot of icon files, there's a lot of JPEG files that Windows uses. That's going to all come up in your Picasa. Bad idea. You're going to spend a lot of time in your Picasa at that point deleting all your files. So you want to go only scan my documents, my pictures, and my desktop. We're going to do that. We're going to scan those click on continue and now this is a configuration file what do you want Picasa to pick up a default viewer for these types of files now if you also have elements and you're playing around you may just want to uncheck all these for now we can check them later or don't use Picasa photo viewer let's just do that hit finish now at this point you can see down here in the lower uh, right hand corner it's scanning my pictures folder and it's pulling all those pictures in that we've been working with with elements and it's putting them into Picasa and it's pulling them by folder name is what you see here so there you go it's pretty fast it pulled them all in 
and it works pretty nice because you can take this right here and we can raise these pictures up so we can see them better pretty much just like you can in elements in the organizer we can go over here and we can click on any one of these and pull up just those pictures you can see here how we can just pull these up so everything's already pretty much organized for us we have a really good organizer it's really nice here's a nice way to watch them also is all these pictures that we have selected right now if you hit play it'll play a full screen slideshow let's try that it gives you a really nice way to view your pictures full screen on your monitor so you can have a good look to get out of it just simply hit escape that'll take you back out of it now looking at the short video you'll see on Picasso's website you'll get an idea of all the new features they built into this thing it's really really nice how many features they built in uh, we talked about photo collages you can see a link here you can make a photo collage you can do a, a movie presentation you can create a gift CD and we're going to look at these over the course of the next uh, you know few shows we're going to try to use Picasso I'm going to play around with it to see if it's really really a contender um, you know a free alternative contender to kind of save you ninety nine dollars on elements but we're also still you know feature some videos on elements it's just I want to make a little change we're still staying in the photo range so we'll still do um, photography I got to check this to see how much time I got left okay let's open Picasso back up we're at seven minutes right now what I wanted to show you was how easy it was to import pictures so hopefully I don't know what's on this camera but my wife handed me a camera from work we're gonna go ahead and plug it in to the computer and let's plug this in we're gonna turn it on at that point we just turned it on you heard it pick itself up there now at this point my element is going to take over because that's my default downloader we're gonna hit cancel on this go up here we're gonna click the import button select a device uh, I'm trying to think what device this may be there you go it's device M there's the pictures we have these are the pictures that she has you can see it's copying them right now it's copying them over into the Picasso folder it acquired 14 pictures and all we have to do is say import all or import selected let's say import all we're gonna give it a name just give it a name here um, preschool it's going in my pictures folder under preschool it's a good place to take it optional you can take it where you where you where you took the pictures at the date why is that coming up that should come up with the default date let's get into October 08 here October 15th do nothing we're gonna leave the pictures alone we're gonna leave them on the memory card we can also safely delete the pictures off the memory card and we can wipe the cards we can delete all the pictures found we're just gonna leave them on the card and hit finish now look how easy that was to get those pictures off of that card well for YouTube's sake that's all the time I have right now for this video on your opening for Picasa hopefully you download it and start playing with it and we'll do some more tutorials on it so I'll see you back here again with another Picasa 3 video take care and bye for now